Well, that's more that's gospel not to be Let me thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. A little technical di- difficulties happening right about now, but we do thank God for all of you who are tuned into the broadcast, who are up and at them, who are doing what they need to do. We are grateful for God being who He is and, and doing what He does. We are yet in our series, um, developing the leaders around you, or the leaders around you, and um, we also are this week. On a series, a blessing for Ishmael and Isaac, in the book of Genesis, chapter 21, verses 13 to 14, 17 to 21, and then 26, uh, verses 2 to 5, and then 12 to 13. Our key verse is found in Genesis 21, 12b up to 13, and um, we want you to know that God can make a great nation of anyone He chooses to do so. So you could be the next great nation. Now just think about it for a moment and let it marinate in your spirit. You'll find out that that's probably a good place to be at. And by the way, we do thank God for having an opportunity to be at the appreciation celebration on last evening with Superintendent Roger A. Grimes and his lovely wife, Pastor Aurelia Grimes, and we are grateful for all that God is doing in the lives of his people. I just want to let you know that next week we'll be back on schedule for 
power services and for our uh, distribution of groceries. There's going to be some things going on. Uh, breakfast is going to be being sold just prior to our distribution of groceries. And you're more than welcome to be uh, one of the people who can get a breakfast. Um, they're, they're going to be preparing for you all. Of course, they would love for you to call in advance, but at this point, I, I do not have the number with me for you to call and talk to who you need to talk to. By the way, this is uh, at least on my recording date. So we are on Columbus Day, and this is the day that we observe Columbus Day. And so we thank God for you all who are here and who are, uh, who are celebrating Columbus Day. Some of you may not have that holiday, but we do thank God for that. I do want to also let you know that Allen's Lawn Service, serving all of Rock County, is available to you. And he gives free estimates, Christian young man, and we'll, he also can do plumbing. He is a great man of God who will do you right. So give him a call. You've got some trimming, mowing, edging, pruning, a yard cleanup that you need done. Be it at your church, be it in your place of business, or even at your home. And you ought to go ahead and give Allen's Lawn Service a call. 954-279-4860. That's 954-279-4860. And it's especially wonderful when you do. We're looking forward to a, a great time in the Lord and looking forward to what God can and will do uh, through His people. It's been an interesting day, really, uh, already. Uh, so coming out of the weekend is, is always interesting, and Mondays are always great. Uh, some of you will be hearing this on another day, and you'll be like, Mondays are always great. Today's really Monday. What are you talking about? It, sometimes it broadcasts as well, often my broadcast replays. That's why a lot of times I don't let it be too dated. But we do thank God for you all who are participating. Now, this is October, and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so we do thank God for those of you who are participating in the Breast Cancer Awareness and who will take the time to participate in Breast Cancer Awareness and be a part of what's going on in that. I'm sure there are many different things that are going on in the community where you can become aware. Many of those um, opportunities I'm not very familiar with, but I can tell you that Broward Health does have free mammogram screenings, as well as Holy Cross Hospital. They have free mammogram screenings. You can always check and find out where a free mammogram screening is going on in your area. And uh, don't delay if you haven't gotten your uh, mammogram. Get it done. Uh, it's a little uncomfortable, but it is worth it because, uh, as we know, prevention is the key if you're going to have early detection, which is the key to being a survivor. And so we thank God for that, and we thank God for you all who are taking advantage of that. On the 27th of October, at the Fort Lauderdale Multicultural Church of God in Christ, 744 Northwest 12th Avenue in the city of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, we're having our, at 11 a.m., we're having our breast cancer awareness service, and we will have an oncologist who will be there to talk to us about some of the things that are going on. So you can find out a little bit about what you need to know, ask questions, become informed, and be prepared for what is to come. Now, um, we thank God for uh, Panera Breads, especially the one on 57, 5975 North Federal Highway. Now that's where they are. They're 5975 North Federal Highway, right? Uh, they're north of Commercial, south of Imperial Point Hospital. And uh, they are right in the Imperial Square Plaza. You see a big Panera sign. And they, as well as all other Paneras in the country, are doing something for breast cancer awareness. Go Pink Mugs, $3 from every mug and 10% of every bagel will be no donated to Breast Cancer Research to the Memorial Regional Cancer Institute. Now, a mug it does cost $11.95, but it entitles each guest to free coffee for the entire month. So, hey. Good deal, uh, especially if you like drinking coffee. But even if you don't like drinking coffee, the mug is absolutely gorgeous and it is really a great keepsake. I would encourage anybody who uh, is interested to get one. Of course, the earlier you get it, the more coffee you can obtain while the mug is still uh, relatively fresh. We've still got a couple weeks left in the month uh, for you to be able to enjoy that free cup of coffee. Again, go pink mugs at the Panera Breads and there's a bagel. It is a pink ribbon bagel. It's a cherry vanilla bagel, and it is absolutely delicious, um, absolutely fabulous. 
And um, I would encourage anybody who gets an opportunity to go to Panera Bread to purchase that bagel. I believe you'll enjoy it thoroughly. I actually ate it without any cream cheese or any toppings or anything like that. Just ate it straight because I wanted to have an idea of how the bagel tastes. And it was absolutely uh, delicious. It had a great flavor. Um, it tasted fine, even without all the trimmings and the toppings that most people put on a bagel. So, uh, encouraging all of you to stop by Panera Breads, especially 5975 North Federal Highway over there in Imperial Plaza, or Imperial Square, I believe is what it's called, Imperial Square. And um, visit them and uh, help them out because they are always so kind in, in helping us out and partnering with us here at Guts Gospel United States. So we do thank God for you all, and we are grateful for what God is doing right here and right now. We're getting ready to uh, get into a break, but before we get into the break, let's get to a little bit of uh, developing uh, the leaders around us. And we talked about when we left off the fact that no executive was ever suffered because his people were strong and effective. And so leaders around us lift our loads in many ways. And so I was going to tell you about the two of the most important ways that leaders help lift my load and will even help lift your load. One is they become a sounding board for me. As a leader, sometimes uh, uh, you hear counsel that you don't want to hear, but you need to hear. But that's the advantage of having leaders around you. Having people who know how to make decisions, followers tell you what you want to hear, leaders tell you what you need to hear they don't they don't uh, try to and I know some people say that's not how I want my leaders I want my leaders to be yes men I want my leaders to always uh, be following my rules I don't want a leader that's gonna tell me I'm wrong that's not a good thing for you to have if you're gonna have leaders around you you want to have someone who has enough grounding and rooting that they'll keep you from going outside the box if you are going to coloring too far outside the lines but sometimes when you color too far outside the lines you're going outside of even the boundaries God has set for you. So it's important to have people who will tell you not what you need to hear, but what you, not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. What, what is important for you to be able to develop and grow also, because we're all developing and growing. Now I've always encouraged those closest to me to give me advice on the front end. In other words, an opinion before a decision has potential value. Uh, please, uh, you know, almost everybody, hindsight's twenty twenty vision. After the thing has happened, everybody now knows that it's bad, and everybody all of a sudden has the prophetic outlook of, yeah, you know, I knew that wasn't going to work when, when it started. Well, why didn't you say something before we got involved? Why didn't you say something before we put money in it? Why didn't you say something before we lost all this uh, time and effort and value putting force behind something that really you knew wasn't going to go anywhere? You could have at least mentioned it. I may not have listened. I may not have heard you. I may have even done it anyway. But the least you could have done was say something. That way, at least, when it's all over and said and done, I can remember. And you can even say, hey, remember? I told you. This wasn't going to work. An opinion after decision is, has been made is worthless. Alex Agassi, a college football coach, once said, if you really want to give me advice, do it on Saturday afternoon between 1 and 4 o'clock when you've got... 25 seconds to do it between plays. Don't give me advice on Monday. I know the right thing to do on Monday. All of us know the right thing to do after it's done. We need help when we're on our way. I'm going to talk to you about the second thing when we come back, and then we'll get into our other series, which is dealing with the blessing for Ishmael and Isaac. Thank you again for tuning in to Guts Gospel United Save, a variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. We'll be right back. Baby, I'm 
so you to sleep or start to walk. Before I know it, I'll be dropping her off at school, beaming when she walks up to accept her diploma, or holding back tears as she takes those big steps down the aisle. But before she takes all those steps, she and thousands like her will need you to take yours. Join March for Babies to help make her steps possible. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org. Cuando camino, no estoy sola. Tengo un compañero de viaje aquí mismo, en diciembre. Vemos un montón de cosas juntos. Bueno, él no las ve, pero creo que de alguna manera las vive. Quiero que nazca y vea las maravillas que este mundo puede ofrecer. Pero lo que más me interesa es que esté sano. Por eso camino. Y no soy la única persona que camina por mi bebé. Mucha gente lo hace. Al unirse a la marcha por los bebés. En nuestras caminatas estamos solamente. Yo y él, y unos cuantos millones de personas que se preocupan por los bebés. Un día, todos los bebés nacerán sanos, pero tendremos que caminar para lograrlo. Participa en la marcha por los bebés de March of Dimes. Juntos podemos brindar a todos los bebés un comienzo sano. Visita hoy mismo lacersano.com para registrarte. Dije que le cuente mi historia. Estaba hablando con mi mejor amiga. Le dije que no me sentía bien. Tenía dolor en el área pélvica y sangrado que no era normal para mí. Mi amiga insistió en que viera a mi médico. Y con mucha razón, tenía cáncer de útero. Un tipo de cáncer ginecológico. Por darme cuenta de que algo podría estar mal, vi a mi médico y recibí tratamiento. Ahora, tenemos confianza de que estaré bien. Así que, por favor, escucha su cuerpo. Los cánceres de útero, de cuello uterino, de ovario, de vagina y de vulva son todos cánceres ginecológicos. Las señales y los síntomas no son iguales para todas las mujeres. Conozca su cuerpo. Para más información, llame al 1-800-232-4636. Esta información le puede cambiar su vida. Cambió la mía. Un mensaje de la campaña Conozca su cuerpo y del Departamento de Salud y Servicios Humanos de los Estados Unidos. Gospel United to say it's the Guts Gospel Show, a variety talk show with a yes, special guest. Tune in weekdays three times a day. Wake up for the morning show at 7 a.m. Tune in for the midday show at 3:30 p.m. And ride home with the evening show at 6 p.m. And Saturdays at 10 a.m. The Guts Gospel Show. Guts Call in and log in. Let's talk about it, laugh about it, and pray about it with Nikki B. Right here on this station. Tune in online and listen to it on the internet. www.gutsay.webs.com It's the Guts Gospel Show. Gospel United to Say. A variety talk show with a Christian view. This commercial is sponsored by Rhythm and Gospel Network. We're replacing the blues with the good news. That's right, we're replacing the blues with the good news. And I thank God for each and every one of you tuning into the broadcast. You are tuned into Guts, Gospel United Save. A variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm your host, Nikki V, and we thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast and being a part of what God is doing right here and right now. We hope that you will continue to tune in and be a part of what God is doing in this place and with you and with everyone. I want to kind of get you back up with the uh, second thing that I was telling you about that's important for having good leadership or developing good leadership around you is that they possess a leadership mindset. Fellow leaders do more than work with a leader. They think like the leader. It gives them the power to lighten the load. This becomes invaluable in areas such as decision-making, brainstorming, and providing security and direction to others. National opportunities and responsibilities often will take me away from being in my regular services. Now, it's essential that we have leaders who can carry on effectively while we're gone. If you are a pastor who's trying to be a mega ministry, you really do need to make sure that you develop leaders around you. Because you're going to have to do some things that means you're going to have to leave your congregation. And who's going to keep the ministry working effectively? You don't want it to suffer or 
degrade because you're doing the national work, right? And the great thing is when you've trained up leaders, that's what they do. They keep things running effectively. It happens because you spend your life finding and developing potential leaders. That's the way, that's the way it happens. If you don't do that, then it won't happen. Now, the results of that are extremely gratifying. This leadership mindset of sharing the load is wonderfully demonstrated by, of all things, geese, as illustrated by Tom Warshan. When you see the geese heading south for the winter flying along in a V formation, you might be interested in knowing the science that discovered why they fly that way. Research revealed that as each bird flaps its wings, it creates an uplift for the bird immediately behind it. By flying in a V formation, the whole flock adds at least 71% greater flying range than if each bird flew on its own. People who share a common direction and sense of community get where they are going more quickly and easily because they are traveling on one another's thrust. Working together, working as a team of leaders, can get more accomplished than working individually. Whenever a goose falls out of formation, it suddenly feels the drag and resistance of trying to go it alone. It quickly gets back into formation and to take advantage of the lifting power of the bird immediately in front. If we as people have as much sense as a goose, we will stay in formation, and so will those who are headed the same way we are. When the lead goose gets tired, he rotates back in the V and another goose flies the point. It pays to take turns doing the hard jobs. That way no one gets burnt out. No one gets stressed out. No one ends up dying from exhaustion or quitting ministry because of exhaustion. These geese haunt from behind to encourage those up front to keep up their speed. What do we say when we are haunt from behind? And finally, when a goose gets sick or is wounded by gunfire and falls out, two other geese fall out of formation and follow it down to help and protect it. They stay with the goose until it is either able to fly again or dead. And then they launch out on their own or with another formation to catch up with their group. If we have the sense of a goose, we will stand by each other just like that. Whoever was the first to call another person a silly goose didn't know enough about geese. Is there anything but silly? Now, we're going to get into a little later in our series, leaders attract potential leaders. You have to understand the, the facts behind that. Leaders attract potential leaders. Leaders will bring in more leaders. And if you understand that, then you'll understand why you ought to continue to try to lead other people. Why you should continue to try to bring other people up to speed. Why you want to create or develop leaders while you are leading. Now the next part of our series that we're going to get into, and we're going to get into this as we get to the top of the hour, is a blessing for Ishmael and Isaac. We're in the book of Genesis, chapter 21, verses 13 through 14, then verses 17 through 21, then we go down to chapter 26, verses 2 through 5, and then we skip down to verses 12 through 13. And one of the things that we have to understand is that God can make a great nation of anyone he chooses to do so. Now our key verse is, In all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall the seed be called. And also the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. Genesis chapter 21 verse 12b and 13. And some of the things we're hoping to accomplish as we go through this series study, as we get involved in what the series is talking about, is that we will explore the implications of the blessing God gave to Isaac and Ishmael, confess any jealousies that stand in the way of loving God and the neighbors and neighbor as believers should, and pray for world peace, including peace among people of all faiths. Now, something else you need to understand as we go through this series is that there are too many people who feel they are not blessed because of how or where they happen to be born. 
The other thing is that God promised to make a great nation of Ishmael, even though he and his mother were not members of God's chosen people. The next thing we ought to know and apply to our life is that the promise of God are certain, but they require our complete obedience to him and his word. And the final thought. Think about those situations in your family or with someone you know that may have similarities to Ishmael and Isaac. And how would you, if given the time and opportunity, minister to them? Just some things to think about to go through to deal with as we deal with these lessons. Again, I want to let you know Allen's Lawn Service is available uh, to help you to get your yard looking just the way you need it to look. Whether you're a business, whether you're a church, whether you're just a homeowner, this is the gentleman to call to do your lawn. Trimming, mowing, edging, pruning, and he's also a plumber. 954-279-4860. That's 954-279-4860. That is the number to call in order to get in contact with Robert Allen of Allen's Lawn Service, servicing all of Broward County. Give him a call today. Let him know you heard it here on Guts. Gospel United Save with Nikki V. And uh, I'm sure that it'll put a smile on his face. And who knows, you might just get blessed for saying so. And thank you for tuning into the broadcast and being a part of what God is doing right here and right now. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we do thank God for that. We hope that you all are taking all the preventative measures that you ought to take and uh, doing all the things that you can do for early detection. But you ought to uh, stop by and help out those who are helping to uh, put money into the research and there are people right in our area who are doing such a thing and they're helping the more regional cancer institute which is also in our area and who i'm talking about well none other than panera breads 5975 north federal highway uh, in the city of port lauderdale florida and they had the go pink mugs and of course really it's at every panera but i'm suggesting them because they've always been such a good partner with us, helping us in order to do the things that we have to do and definitely helping us in our fight against hunger. Go Pink Mugs, $3 from every mug, bug. it will go to uh, Memorial Regional Institute as well as 10% of every bagel. The mug is $11.95, but this also entitles each guest to free coffee for the entire month of October. So uh, make it your plans, make it your must, stop by, and uh, especially if you can, stop by at that Imperial Square Panera Bread Place and let them know. And that one is located right on Federal Highway. It's just north of Commercial and just south of Imperial Point Hospital. So we hope that you all would engage in that and help us out with that. Right now, Bishop Paul S. Morton and Will You Watch With Me? Oh, 